What's mouse music? Well, mouse music is uh, could be described as... Mouse um, music is, is music that's cheap and not real. Mickey Mouse jumps around a little artificial creature. Music that is popular. Cheesy, put together music with no soul. Inauthentic. We're gonna get this good. Oh shit, my stuff isn't produced. I just catch it as it is. It's the music of your neighbors, you just don't know it. And Chris has been collecting it, preserving it, selling it, exposing one culture to another. I mean, he's a treasure. <laughs> don't be there. I just fell in love with making records. They're kind of neat snapshots. There'll never be another one like it. Most record companies, they record everything that they think is commercial, you know. I didn't want to record stuff I don't like. He's a classic record man, not corporate. Not about to take orders or, or fit into any kind of system, you see? Those are the kind of people that started the record business in this country. What an unbelievable influence that something like Country Blues has had on popular culture. I mean, massive, massive, massive. And if it wasn't for people like Chris going down and recording this stuff, we wouldn't know about it. And in some cases, it might have just disappeared out of cultural history. I just dove into this like a guy diving into a swimming pool and <laughs> having a great adventure underwater or whatever. <laughs> well, or going to paradise without having to suffer death, you know. It's because of him, really, that I guess I'm here now. I probably wouldn't have embraced the culture as much as I have. Of course, I mean, I would have found it. But I probably wouldn't have found it quite as interesting as I do now, you know, because I got to see it through the eyes of an outsider. <laughs> I don't know why I like it so much. It's just got some guts to it. It ain't wimpy, that's for sure. <laughs> it ain't no mouse music. <laughs>